This is Marketplace. Dumpster diving. Okay, this will disgust some people, but... What your supermarket doesn't want you to see. There's a whole lot of food. Yep. Canadians trash $31 billion worth of food a year. From big box stores to your shopping cart. I'm just gonna throw it out for you in advance. No, no, no. Why is seemingly good food being thrown out in garbage? This is your marketplace. We're gearing up, tackling a global problem. You know, I don't usually have to wear this to go grocery shopping. There's a first time for everything. OK, let's give it a go. Taking you behind one of the largest grocery chains in the country. OK, we got a lot of bins there. Let's see what's inside. In Canada alone, we throw out $31 billion worth of food each year. We're investigating how much of that ends up trashed behind big stores like Walmart. Parmesan cheese. This is four months to go. Four months till it's best before day. Best before day salad, still three days from now. At this store just outside Toronto, we find 12 bins full of food, and most of it still looks good to eat. Hey, David, take a look at this package cauliflower. Not even past its best before date. This is just one visit. So is this unusual or the norm? These dark, sweet cherries, they're frozen. Mm -hmm. Check out the best before date, March 23rd, 2018. So it's almost two more years. Those two could still be on the shelves. So I pulled this celery out of the package, give you an idea of how bad it is. Listen. Like that's. And you get, when it makes that it's sound. Crunchy. We visit this Walmart over a dozen times. Day after day, we find everything from produce to baked goods, dairy products, even frozen foods. Not even in the compost, just straight in the garbage. Why is so much seemingly good food going to waste? Well, maybe Walmart has a good explanation. Time to reach out and ask them. While we wait for their response, I'm heading to Edmonton, Alberta. You're saying the truck comes every day to empty these? Every day. To meet up with a former Walmart manager. He's going public because he doesn't agree with Walmart's food waste policies. How much food are you throwing out in a given shift then? I would say at a daily average, um, a shopping cart um, goes to waste. A shopping cart worth of food. Yeah. Ali Zane Mevawala worked at this location for almost a year. What were you thinking when you're throwing away a grocery cart full of food on a shift? Um, I, I really felt bad because I know a lot of people in, in this city or in this country, even in, in this whole world, they, they don't even get to eat proper food. What happens to an apple or a vegetable that is a bit bruised? I have to throw it. And that was a policy that you understood when you worked at this Walmart? That's correct. Ali Zane is not alone. We talk to Walmart insiders from across the country who say throwing out shopping carts of food is common practice. To see if that's true, we're checking out another Walmart store. All right, here's some bins. Yep, here wow. we go. Packaged produce. This is fresh corn on the cob. There's nothing wrong with it. Lots of good food here, too. OK, this will disgust some people, but. They're still good. In Canada, we waste billions of dollars worth of food every year. What goes your, through your mind when you hear that? Billions of dollars. That is a lot of a lot of money and a lot of food. I'm from Pakistan. There, there a lot of people. They don't have enough food to eat. So I guess we are we are lucky that we are having so much food here and we're wasting it. After several emails and phone calls to Walmart, they still won't talk on camera. But after we tell them what we found in their trash bins, they do take some action. Check out what they have done. At the stores where we told them about all that food waste, well, those bins, they're now behind lock and key. We did get a message from Walmart, and they said the food we found was unsafe for consumption and add that they're working to reduce how much is thrown out. 
They tell us these bins are typically locked to prevent access to product that's unsafe. But then why weren't they locked up when we were here before? So what's happening at other retailers? Well, we just don't know because they've got these sealed compactors and we can't see inside. We're starting to get a sense of the problem here in Canada, but it's even bigger in the US. With 70 billion pounds of food wasted each year. So I'm traveling to Orlando, Florida to meet up with a guy who's doing something about it. Meet activist Rob Greenfield. Okay, I got my GoPro camera here so we can get a look inside that dumpster if we have to climb in. He's passionate about not wasting and has become an expert dumpster diver. Today, we're tagging along to find out how much good food we can find behind various grocery stores. Oh, that looks like a whole entire box full of food there. There's uh, natural white cheddar cheese. I think we're just maybe hitting the tip of the iceberg here. It looks like there might be quite a bit. Rob's visited about 2,000 grocery stores across the U.S. collecting food that's still good to eat. This is a whole bag of salads. Still cool. Flowers. I don't know if we need the flowers. So My anniversary's coming up. Right. Yeah. No, that might not work out. We just started and already collected enough to make a meal. All right, put it in the van. You are diving into dumpsters. It sounds a little extreme. Yes, what I do is actually quite extreme. So we got quite a bit of food in here. Nearly 1.3 billion tons of food is trashed worldwide each year. These are bags. A lot of times there'll be one bad potato in a five or 10 pound bag, so they throw away the whole thing. It's being wasted from the farms to the distribution centers, to the grocery stores, restaurants, catering programs, to the individuals at home. It's being wasted everywhere. And so the entire system of food and the amount of food being wasted is a, is a complete fiasco. Now, on a very hot day, time for a taste test. This is basically still good. Here, let me get. Oh, yeah, here's this one's still fine. Yep. All right. Well, it is right now about 80,000 degrees, so <laughs> that feels pretty good. But that looks we like decided to check out Walmart to see, to see if they're wasting food here in the sorry. U.S. too. That is a whole lot of food. Yeah, boy, is it ever. There's yeah. eggs and apples and cantaloupe and bagels and everything's loose. But we can't go any further. The bins, they're locked. This seasoned dumpster diver has seen it all. So when we show him what we found at some Walmart stores in Canada. What do you think of what we found? It's a crazy amount of perfectly good food. It, and it's amazing because I watched that and I'm, I'm blown away because that could have been in a shopping cart or in someone's pantry. It's absolutely wrong. I don't think in any advanced society there should be people that are hungry while there's food that was still good that's going to waste. One box. After six hours of dumpster diving in Orlando, our van Another is full box. of food. And Rob no. wants to show it off to prove a point. Whew. Okay, so should we start with fruit? Let's, uh, yeah, let's make the uh, melon in the center and... With the help of Rob's friends, <laughs> we're putting together a large food waste display. What's next? Candy. Mm, that stuff looks good. Okay, we've laid it all out. Now what? Now, this food is for the taking. Anybody who walks by and who's interested and wants to get talking can take it home with them. Rob says grocery stores should donate good food to those who need it, food banks or shelters. But we're told that would cost more money. It's cheaper just to throw it away. It sounds like it's one extra step. It's a bit more difficult for a grocery store to do that it rather is. than to throw it in the garbage. It is. It's one extra step. It takes a little bit more effort. but. I believe that in an advanced society like the United States or Canada, that if there's people in need, that we should take that extra step and, and help them. Okay. All right. You got it. Nice catch. With hundreds of millions of people going hungry each year, 
it's easy to see how much of a difference that extra step would make. We have so many hungry people, and it's just it's ridiculous to see all this food that's wasted. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. See ya. After weeks of sending emails and making phone calls to Walmart, we still don't really have the answers that we need. So there's really only one thing left for us to do. With video footage in hand, we're going to the store. You can't afford to miss this. Get more Marketplace. Sign up for our weekly newsletter at cbc.ca slash marketplace. Taking on food waste, this is your Marketplace. After months of research and more than a dozen separate dives into Walmart's waste, we found it all. Yogurt, poultry, baked goods, frozen dinners, even the juices. The best before date is almost two months away. Yeah. And it's sealed. Perfectly edible food, all of it trashed. We've asked Walmart several times to talk to us on camera, but they say no. So now we're going into the store where we found all that good food to get some answers. Surely the store manager can explain. Hello, hey. how are you? I'm David with CBC Marketplace. Yes. We're here because uh, several times, in fact, more than a dozen times, we've actually gone to the bins behind this store and we've found good food in those bins. Why is seemingly good food being thrown out in the garbage? Currently, uh, so I'm gonna call my office. Yeah. Uh, if you just give me a few minutes. Okay. But you're the store manager yes. here. Okay. So we do have a reduced program that we use, and our food goes to a waste program. So I'll just give me a couple minutes, and I'll be right back. Sebastian Vela says he needs to call head office. So we wait and wait. Finally, he comes back. We just don't understand why there is food that seems like it's still good for sale. Right. Uh, that's before its best before date, that looks like it's okay. I mean, some of it is, is water. How does water ever go bad? Right, so I do have their number that's head office, yeah. and they can uh, help you out with that information. And what about those bins that are now locked up behind his store? When we first started looking, it wasn't locked up, and then after we let Walmart head office know we what we'd found, uh, it, it was suddenly locked up. Right, so I don't have any answer for you, so I could just ask you yesterday if I'm not the right person. Yeah, I don't think you I got don't, any you answers here today. Thanks you don't very have much for my your time. Approval to take me. Okay. No answers inside the store, so outside we're putting together our own food waste display, showing shoppers what we found behind their Walmart. Attention Walmart shoppers, would you like to see how much food's being thrown out in this one store? I think it's terrible. And why aren't they giving it to the shelters or to people that are begging people, for food on yeah, the street having and will work for food? Yeah. It's the disgusting. women's shelter, yeah. whatever. I, I think it's terrible. Well, it's unnecessary, absolutely. We tried to get Walmart now to answer the question about why, and they didn't answer us. When you don't get answers, what do you make of that? Well, if I was asking a question and I wasn't being answered, I would think that they don't care. That's not really good. I feel almost bad having come out of there. Hi, Alex. This is David Common with CBC Marketplace calling. So, after months and months of trying to get an on-camera interview... One third of all food... CBC News investigation... It's only done. after our story hits the news that Walmart agrees. So I come to Vancouver to meet Alex Roberton, Senior Director of Corporate Affairs. We found quite a bit of food waste over many days behind many Walmarts. Is this something that Walmart wants to change? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. We want zero good food going into landfill. We want zero good food going, going to waste. We want to donate as much as we can. We want to sell as much as we can. To and help you're going sell. to take steps to make sure that happens? We are. We've, over the last uh, 12 months, we've really been ramping up our efforts to address food waste. What I don't understand is how you can have so many bins out the back of multiple stores day after day after day that are full of seemingly good food. You can't have that There's much returned. For sure there's mistakes that are being made and that's one of the things that we need to do is tighten up the execution of our in-store processes so the food that is going into the bins, we need to be more certain that that is food that needs to be thrown out. You get that food waste is a problem yeah. and that you're a part of that problem. Exactly, yeah. I think that we feel that we're on the right track. Um, we have a lot of work to do to get to where we want to be. Can we come back and check in with you? Absolutely. I wish you would, yeah. 
In Canada, we leave it up to supermarkets like Walmart to police their own food waste, but other countries have taken action. France recently banned food waste, requiring supermarkets to give it to local charities and shelters. Italy offers a tax break to grocers who do that. Some U.S. states have also taken action. What's Canada going to do? Well, we're going to ask the Federal Minister of Agriculture. Morning, Minister. Good morning, yeah, David. David with CBC Marketplace. Good to meet you. Good to say hello. Currently, there's no policy to address food waste in Canada, but Lawrence McCauley says that could change. Other countries have already adopted food policies, particularly around food waste. Why has Canada not done something like that yet? We think it's important to do and it's in my mandate later, and we are going to do it. I want to give you the opportunity to, to just acknowledge that food waste is an issue, if you so believe it. Oh, I believe that food waste will be looked at in the policy uh, framework. Is it a problem in Canada? I mean, is it something that needs to be addressed? Well, what we want to do is to address the total food policy issue in this country. So Canada is not cracking down on supermarket waste yet. When we showed Canadians what we found behind stores, they said that should be illegal. Obviously, what you're, what you're earmarking is, is obviously a problem if, if there's food out there that's wasting. Do you think it's time for the government of Canada to take a stand on this? We will come up with a national food policy, hopefully that will be very helpful to the consumer and the producer and everybody else in between. McCauley says it'll be another year before his food policy comes out. Until then, Canada is still way behind. The biggest wasters of all, you. This is what you're throwing out. Fair, fair. Okay. Boom. Oh, My heart is racing because I feel like it's so expensive and wasteful. But now we're thinking. This is your marketplace. Time to face what's in your trash. We've gone through the garbages in grocery stores now time to take a bin into a store to challenge customers to see what it is that they're buying and what they throw out. Do you need any bags for the stuff now? Oh, think... Every year, Canadians toss out more than $14 billion worth of food at home. Food waste happens in lots of places. Yep. Does it happen in your home? Yeah, I waste a bit of food for sure. Turns out we all throw out nearly one in five bags of the groceries we buy. Why? Chances are we're buying way more than we need. What have you got in your bag? I don't want you to panic about what I'm about to do. I've got the old compost bin here. I'm just uh -huh. going to throw it out for you in advance. Okay? No, 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 that's all right. <laughs> so I'm showing shoppers what typically ends up in green bins and what they can do to reduce their waste. Your broccoli, any sense of how much of that usually gets thrown out? Probably. About 25%. Yeah. I picked that. That was a really nice broccoli that's I real... picked out there. That was a really nice broccoli? <laughs> Well, you see, the thing about the tomatoes is you got the wrong guy here because I, I really like tomatoes a lot. I'm like obsessed with them, so I'm gonna eat them like fast. And you like them enough that you put them on your body. Yeah, I'm, those are uh, those are going quick. Okay, well let me try to horrify you. If, okay. If uh, if you were like most Canadians yeah. who didn't have a tattoo of tomatoes, yeah. This is this is what you're throwing out. Fair, fair. Okay. Boom. Oh God. Is this like a, a, a what? Where are you we going? You look uncomfortable. Here? Yeah, I look uncomfortable. But we're just doing what statistics tell us Canadians do. In fact, about half the food we throw out at home, fruits and vegetables. Okay, where are those strawberries? No. They look great, don't I they? I picked them last one. Day. Yeah, they look really good. They look good. My heart is racing because I feel like it's so expensive and wasteful. Okay, so regular yeah. milk, almond milk, we throw out 15%. Yeah. If you're the average Canadian family, you're gonna throw that out. Wow. That's crazy. So if I pull your bananas here, yes. there's six of them. Yep. The average Canadian yes. wastes one and a quarter of them. Oh, really? When you walk into a grocery store and you have a guy after the checkout throwing your food out, what's going through your mind? I just threw away money some uncomfortable moments there. People had no idea we were going to be tossing their food like that. But in a way, we're just doing what people will end up doing themselves in their own homes. So we're going on a neighborhood spot check in Brampton, Ontario. Meet Owen, Irene, 
and Gord Moss. Like many families, when it comes to food waste, they think they're doing a good job. Do you think you're any more or any less than anyone else? I think we're pretty well average. Yeah. Let's take a peek. Okay. How much of what we see in here gets thrown out? On a percentage basis, I would say probably 20 to 25 percent. For the Moss family, that means $1,000 of groceries tossed each year, and that's on par with the average family in this country. What, what do you guys think about how much food is wasted by people just like you? Well, I think it's a disgrace. We should value food a lot better than we do. We've talked to the Moss family about how much they throw out. But it makes you wonder how much food waste we all produce. After all, almost half of it takes place in our own homes. So we're taking them on a field trip to a nearby waste facility so we can see just how much is being tossed on a daily basis. All right, so here it is. Ew. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Pretty stinky. <laughs> They're shocked. And this is only food waste from a couple of neighborhoods over a few hours. Believe it or not, this is just from a couple of trucks. Right. And those trucks come constantly all day. Behind us is a room full of this. Wow. It's a football field size. Wow. There's 2,000 tons of mostly food waste in there. Incredible. Wow. For safety reasons, we're not allowed in there. We take a lot for granted. We really do. It's just available, so you just buy it. If yep. you don't want it, you throw it out. But now we're thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah. Okay. And that's the idea. Think before you buy. Think before you waste. Whether you're a family or a big retailer. OK, now you've seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you've smelled it. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Great. Thanks Great. for having us. Next week on Marketplace, house hunting undercover, real estate agents caught on camera. I can coach you kind of how to what price to put. I would have loved to know what the number was. Breaking the rules. We'd be looking for maximum penalties. Secret deals, broken dreams. Like I said, it was a perfect house to cost. <laughs>